What's up ladies and gentlemen? All right, now that the office is completed, this video is on building a custom desk. First thing you want to do is figure out what kind of a layout you want in a desk. You just want it from left to right, 20, 25 inches off the back wall, or do you want to make an L type space? I'm going with an L. So when you get all your dimensions written down, you want to figure out what kind of a top, what kind of a, you want to do plywood, you know, obviously I'm gonna be putting braces on the wall, but now that I have my layout, I decided to go with a two by six uh, top, meaning you get a bunch of two by six pieces of lumber, you cut them to your lengths, and then you're gonna pick the best tops. We're gonna to go over it when we go outside, and uh, I'll explain to you how we're gonna do it from there. After going through all that stuff inside, this is uh, we have it laid out. Get yourself a couple of horses, some plywood, make a table. All right, this is what I meant by the two by sixes. All right, you got two by sixes here. You want to pick the best sides. And what I do is I like to mark top. I don't know if you can see that, I mark top on all of them because you're actually going to have to flip this over to put it together. So we're going to put these four boards together first. Once they're joined together, and you say to yourself, well, how are you going to put them together? Easy. We're going to use the Craig jig. Here we go. It's the pocket hole jig. All right. And we have the screws to go with it. Okay. Craig pocket hole jig. I highly recommend. I had one. I had to reorder it. I lost it. And I got these uh, screws. Remember, pick out the best top best top pieces you want to join them together make sure you don't have any warped pieces I had a few that were warped when I got home so you you can't join them together they're useless and you got to take your time and cut one at a time these little guys I ran out you know it was I had to cut a piece to make it this will be the end piece okay this will go on the end like this towards the wall and you'll see how it's a filler okay and it makes it the uh, you know the 68 and a quarter so you got to rip a piece so you either use a table saw or you do like me you mark it and you use your uh, circular saw my hand saw it was easy all right so let's flip these over let's line them up and I'll show you how we use this jig all right what you want to do is you want to grab a tape measure flip all your boards over to the bottom side grab a tape measure right and then just mark really quick let me just do this here, put this down. Very simple. Get yourself a pencil. Mark every, I put one here on it. This was a test. I put one there. Let's go 12 inches. Let's go 24, right on the edge here. All right, 24. Let's go every uh, 12 inches or so. All right, you're gonna take it. You're gonna line it up with the hole here. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm actually going to hold it in place. I'm just going to put it right on the line here. If you see that line, I'm just going to put it right on the edge and I'm going to send it through right here. Okay, and I'm going to hold it in place. I'm not going to clamp it and I'm going to do it to every single one. So let's get them all done. All right, now that all the holes are uh, drilled, okay, you want to have one of these on hand or at least a broom or something. You're going to have to clean up a lot of mess. Once we got them all drilled, all right, make sure, obviously, you have the top, right sides facing the right way. We're gonna line these back up. We're gonna line these back up nice and even here. All right, the part that's gonna go to the wall, you want it nice and even. If this part is a little off, I can always plane this easy. Plane it nice and even at the end. What we're going to do is we're going to tilt these up. Not only are we going to put Craig screws through, but we're going to use some wood glue. Okay? We're going to run a bead of glue. I'm going to use my finger, spread it out nice and evenly, flip them down, and I'm going to send the jig screws right through. All right? Demonstration on how you're going to put these together. I did one already. You're going to take some wood glue, stand it up on its side. You're going to put the bead of glue on here. Okay. Oh. 
any extra put it right here on the edge of your bench that's what's good about these workbenches all right come across and what you want to do you could use a little brush or something i use my finger i just do this flatten it out nice and even get a nice coverage of this wood glue and don't worry about it oozing off a little bit either onto the top or bottom actually the bottom you don't have to worry about it at all you won't see but the top when it oozes out it's not a big deal because we're going to be sanding the whole top of this okay once the sanding is done and it's nice and you know nice and smooth i'm going to be staining this um it's going to be i believe a weathered gray and then after the stain we're going to put a little polyurethane on it to give it some shine and protection um yeah it's pretty cool so this is as easy as it is after you drill your holes you put some glue on it like this okay and what you're going to do is you're going to you're going to uh, slide this guy down i'm just going to let it fall on the table on your work table hang on a second you're going to let it go down like this. Make sure it's clean. Then you're going to take, like I said, this edge is more important. You want to make this really even, as even as possible. But again, you can plane it. Now, when you put the screw in, you're going to put the jig screw in here. Okay, and you're going to get the drill. You're going to put your hands, if you watch me, you're going to push it and hold it down with one hand. Hold it level make it you know flush so it's flush across here and you're going to send that screw right in and you're going to send it in where it binds up and you can see the glue kind of ooze up a little bit like this and now that that's done i'm going to let it dry all right put it aside we're going to come over and we're going to start the left to right pieces which are the small ones all right i mark these where it said top you can see and we're going to put it upside down we're going to face the top towards, you know, at the bottom. Because we're going to be drilling the same thing. We're going to put, I'll probably put two, maybe three, three, three screws in each. All right, we're going to mark them, we're going to drill them, and then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to glue each edge, and we're going to put it together. So the first thing you're going to need to do is mark out your studs, okay? Obviously, you the brace we're going to put in is a, it's going to be a two by three brace it's going to sit the top is going to sit on it like a little ledge we're going to put a piece over here across here to the corner and then it's going to go out about five and a half six feet out to that length the average height from the ground up for a desk is 30 inches you want to look for studs you want to mark them you're going to use your level and we're going to get a one we're going to get a two by three in here we're going to cut little sections like i said we're going to screw it to the wall, and when the tabletop is done, we're going to be able to rest it right on top. We'll have a brace on that corner. On that corner, the only thing is over here is where i got to make a side leg for the table, and you'll see what I mean when we get to this side. Once you put your braces in, I had to skip it, and you'll see when I'm done. I pretty much explained that, but once you put these braces in, make sure you're level from corner to corner. All right? Come across, you want to be level across, and you want to do corner to corner again. Okay, then over here, you want to make sure it's level. All right, so now we're all set up. Let me get back here. Now we're all set up, you can see what I'm doing, and you're going to put the uh, piece right on top of that. And because I have a corner there, and, sorry about that, my hands all from the glue. The, the edge of it's gonna, the corner is gonna sit on that edge, secured to some studs. It's gonna sit along the back and it's gonna come across and there's gonna be a leg that comes out 22 inches, like a framing thing. I'm gonna sand it. What you wanna do is you just wanna get like an 80 grit, start with that. Don't go crazy, cause you want some imperfections. You know, when the stain and the stuff comes out, you want it to look like a barn table type. But just go over the edges. The edges are important so you don't get any splinters or anything. So you just start your row.
the picture. So nice rounded, nice edge here. Make it look good you know, on the reveal, because that's what's gonna show when you walk into the office. All right, so before we uh, start staining and getting this thing finished, I'm gonna take my planer. I'm gonna run along the edge here, give it a nice straight edge. I wanna keep the front rounded and I wanna make it look like it's a little aged, you know, and weathered. But edges where I'm gonna be buttoned up against the walls are just showing a nice straight. If it's a little crooked, I wanna hit it. The planing's done, the sanding's done. We're going to start to stain and we're going to start to do uh, the poly when it's finished. Okay, I'm going with the wood stain. All right, this is a weathered gray. Let that dry. I'm going to rub that. I'm going to put that in with one of these foam brushes here. Put it on pretty thick. Then I'm going to wipe it off with a rag. Let it sit and dry. Maybe two coats. Then we're going to go over to the poly. And then we'll put these two pieces together. Always uh, one thing I forgot dry fit your piece in your space before you stain it and do all that stuff So I put this thing together. I did place it in the office. It fit So now I'm gonna uh, stain Take care of it Then I will put it back together and bring it back in the office. The worst thing is you get it all prepared You get it stained and sanded the way you wanted and then you have to cut it down and you have to restain the spots so Dry fit the piece before you do all the staining and stuff. Put up the can, shake it up good, dip your brush in. It's pretty simple. And then just go for it all over the wood here. Okay, and just wipe it all over. Give it a nice thick coat, get inside those little cracks. Then we're gonna take our rag and we're gonna wipe it off, okay? All right, so when you put it on thick like this, and it looks like just dark paint, don't be alarmed because when you take your rag, okay, you want to wipe it off and it gives it that weathered gray look. If you see that beautiful grain, look at that. All right, so remember when you put the stain on, don't think it's going to dry all dark the way the stain looks. Um, you got to wipe it off. You know, give you that weathered look. The thing you want to do when you're waiting for your stain to dry, come in here and stain your your braces. So when you look underneath, you won't see that white, you know, two by three. You you don't have to paint the top because the obviously the top is going to be covered by the top of the uh, desk. So make sure you stain the inside of this too. Now that the stain is dry, I decided to bring these into the trailer. A lot of leaves and stuff are falling and when you put this poly down this clear coat you don't want anything to land on it you want to try to keep it as clean as possible I got the other section right here so all you're gonna do is just take the brush just like you did the stain and you're actually gonna put it on in a nice even straight coat all the way up and down nice and even try to keep air bubbles out and things like that and we're gonna do two coats of the poly and then we're gonna let it dry. It takes about 24 to 48 hours to dry. We're gonna let it dry, then we're gonna bring this stuff into the office. All right, so I got it in. Had to bring it in in two pieces. The, had to put it in the long part first, and then I just added this short section. The way I did it here was if you look under here, I connected, I connected with four Craig jigs going right into the side of it, okay? It's all supported on that back brace. And because these are all connected right here, it's strong, but I'm gonna add another one underneath, another brace underneath here, just to reinforce, just to reinforce the bottom of the pieces, if you know what I mean. All right, so let me put that together. Then what I have to do is, this is the corner leg. I'm actually gonna box it out, I'm gonna make a square. Another one in the back, top and bottom. I'll tell you what, it came out nice. I don't know if you can see the shine on it, but it's got a nice shine. It's nice and smooth. It's level here. When you come across, it's level there. So it's nice. It's a nice desk. Inexpensive and looks pretty cool. Now that the desk is done, this is the corner piece. It's going to be mounted like this. What I'm going to do is take it out to the uh, trailer, throw a quick uh, stain on it. I'm going to match this. I'm not going to do white. I'm just going to match that, stain it, let it dry, then I'll throw some uh, 
poly on it, and that'll be it. That'll be more than enough support. That'll be it. All right, that's it. We're finished. I went with a basic square edge of uh, the, these legs here. I brought it in about two and a half, three inches. Looks good, all right? Um, we got level table. I'm gonna go and check your level, all right? Remember, this is two by six, so it's not, you know, perfect plywood, but this is level. Um, transition from corner to the other side, level. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take just to finish this off, I'm gonna take some three and a half inch deck screws, gray, obviously, and I'm just gonna throw one in the one here in this corner, put one back here, I'll put one in that corner just to keep this thing, you know, even more secure than it already is. And thanks again for watching. This is how you build a custom desk with two by sixes. Wait a minute, what do we have to do? Yo, Sonny! Son That's not Sonny. That's Uncle Johnny, cuz. Sonny? Sonny! Sonny! Where you going, kid? Where are you, Sonny? I'm gonna get you! One thing before I go. Um, I did not screw down from the top. I decided to screw from the bottom brace up into the top. So I have no holes on this table whatsoever. All right, that's my only change there. All right, we'll catch you on the next one. Yes, Sonny.